entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? What's up guys, welcome back. So patch 1.04 just fixed the interaction that was occurring between the Great Shield Talisman and the Fingerprint Shield. This uh, interaction basically resulted in you never losing stamina no matter how hard of a hit, no matter what boss it was. And so I have a new workaround that brings that same ability back where you can have infinite stamina basically because you never lose any stamina from any attacks no matter how hard they hit. So whether you're here because you used the Juggernaut build that I posted on my channel or any build that you found anywhere, came up with yourself, doesn't matter. If the fingerprint shield is the centerpiece of your build because of that interaction that you were enjoying, that invincibility, especially you're a new player or whatever, you came to the right place. I'm going to show you how to do it in 1.04. Now the biggest change is going to be, you're going to change your stats a little bit. It's going to actually require you to put a couple points into intelligence. Not a lot, not a big deal. Shouldn't change the foundation of the build much at all. So you're going to come to Selene. You're going to come in here in the uh, Waypoint Ruin Cellar. And you're going to buy the Scholar Shield. Now when you read the description on the Scholar Shield, it's only a 12 intelligence requirement. It enhances your left hand shield with damage negation. So it's going to provide that same interaction that we had from the Great Shield Talisman before but requiring us to put a couple points into intelligence, which is not a big deal. So then you need to buy a staff. You can buy one anywhere. I'm just showing a close, easy, accessible one here. Um, in Lyrnia, it's really close. You go to the Matic Merchant, and he's got an Astrologer staff for you uh, for only 800 runes. I just wanted to, th there's a million, you can use any staff you want. There's a really good faith-based one. But anyways, you're going to use your Scholar Shield before a fight, and it gives you one minute of that invulnerability. And it's pretty quick to cast, as you can see. So I'm going to aggro him and show you that, you know, no matter how hard a boss hits, your stamina bar, health bar, will not move. Just keep an eye on the, the stamina bar. You can see, you know, crazy amounts of damage being thrown this way, and, and it does not move. Now, the thing you can know is if there's any sort of elemental damage, you know, fire damage, whatever it is, um, that would normally bypass a shield, you're still going to take that fractional damage as you can see but the stamina bar doesn't move physical damage does not affect us at all stamina health that just there's no no change at all so we're back to 1.03 in terms of invulnerability and that's why you guys are here right so i wanted to showcase this i'm gonna let the fight go on for a little bit while i talk uh, so you can see that you know when the buff wears off right here you can see the the buff's gone and our stamina, we now lose stamina. We don't lose a lot. If you have a, a good build, as you can see here behind me, the, the Juggernaut build that we put together does not have a huge reliance on any piece of equipment, any single spell like Scholar Shield. You can still pretty much face tank the game. I mean, you can see right here, no Scholar Shield, 1.04. There's a tiny bit of stamina loss, a tiny bit of health loss, but I'm just sitting here and just kind of letting him do his thing and it's very minimally affecting me and you know my stamina re regains back to 100 percent before the next attacks it's still the build even without scholar shield it's not necessary i just wanted to showcase for those of you that are wanting that you know 100 percent stamina and vulnerability uh, because maybe you like the novelty of it or whatever you know so here you go patch 1.04 that's how you do it and uh big thank you to Magoo Smith and to Herb in our comment section for bringing this to our attention. So thanks a lot guys Hopefully you guys Enjoy the video if you do Definitely come swing by the channel. I'm not gonna sit here and beg you for subs like every other youtuber I'm just gonna say hey if you're looking for good information come by the channel Got a bunch of playlists organized into what you might be looking for whether it's early game guides You can check our OP in 20 minute series where we've got a 20 minute narrated version and then a full You know hour or two walkthrough version of that guide and then we've got end game guides We've got location guides for almost everything in the game where you can go to that locations guides uh, location quick guide playlist Control F for what you're looking for and go uh, get a quick video on how to get there the fastest way without hiding monsters from you and pre-clearing and all that stuff. So check the channel out and uh, we'll see you guys around. Thanks again.